Now we're going to be talking about IV insertions. So Kat is going to start an IV on me. So please don't miss. I'm just kidding. So one of the first things uh, that you want to find is where you're going to be starting the IV, which Kat is going to go over in detail. But real quick, typically when in the hospital setting, we want to start IVs distally or basically away from the body here and then move up just in case we need to change IV sites. Now in the ER, you're going to commonly see it start in the AC here or the antecubital. And you can see why. Yeah, it's pretty juicy. This is more for blood as well as a lot of fluid volume if we're going to be infusing into the patient. So as a general rule of thumb, we want to start distal and then move up. So Kat, what are we working with today in terms of ingredients? Sure. So we have standard silk tape, a tourniquet, mm -hmm. and if your patient has very um, fragile veins, you can actually just use a blood pressure cuff. If they have very large veins, you may not need a tourniquet at all. A lure lock device in order to cap off mm -hmm. the pigtail. Now this is the IV catheter and it has the pigtail attached. Most devices don't come this way and the IV catheter and pigtail are separate. Mm -hmm. Then we also have the saline flush to flush the pigtail. And then we also have the tachyderm to cover the site completely. And of course just some antiseptic and some gauze in case he should bleed. Yep, so a lot of things. We have to grab all these things before we go to the patient's bedside. So Kat, how do we set up this tourniquet? So I'm going to pull this direction, pull straight across and tight, pull this one extra tight and tuck it in. Too loose will um, impede your ability to get a good vein pop-up. I can help her out by going dependent and squeezing the hand. And squeezing or, his hand. Yeah. And then I'm just going to lean in and you can tell which veins are kind of decent because they're squishier. Um, squishy is definitely a technical term. And you, it feels like your fingers are kind of on a trampoline. And then I'm going to clean really, really well. I like to see skin cells on my alcohol swab just like the Red Cross. Mm-hmm. Yeah, friction removes all the bacteria, all the grime. And this is a chlorhexidine, so I can go back and forth with it. If it was an alcohol, I would really need to use more of a concentric out, uh, inside out kind of motion. And then I need to kind of wait for that to dry because I used quite a bit of fluid there. So I'm going to put my fingers here on the finger grips. So one on each side and then one right here in front of this little piece and that helps keep the needle and the cannula as one unit while I stick. Hey nursing student, listen up, I got some big news. You're missing out on over 900 videos not here on YouTube. Wait a minute, say what? Plus, over 500 study guides that will not only help you cut your study time by 60%, but also boost your retention of the need to know key points for your exam. So stop missing out and get full access today. Visit simplenursing.com. bevel up and then I see blood so I'm going to land my plane here and just ease it on in. Now I get to take this unit apart and then I'm going to release the tourniquet and then I'm looking for this steady blood flow here that you can see. I'll try to move just to show you guys. Yeah, so there's blood here and then there's a little blood here. Mm -hmm. Some have a larger flash on them so that you can see a lot more blood. And then I can pull back Ooh. and see blood in the tubing. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to flush it and make sure it doesn't hurt and make sure it doesn't poke up, make sure the skin doesn't look bruised or any other problems. You can actually feel the coolness of the saline flush going through the vein. So Sometimes you can taste it. Mm -hmm. Now the whole time I'm keeping this stable because I don't want that to move, okay? Now I'm going to clamp this and then I'm going to ask him not to move while I finish dressing it. Now this is an op site. I need to be able to see his site through this window. So honestly, I don't care if you have no idea how this goes on but that has to be visible in that window, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So if you can see that, there's gauze here and a window here. That's what's going to allow me to make sure that his site is still intact, that it's not draining, that it's not leaking around the site, anything like that. And then I'm just going to tear this off. And then most of these come with little tapes and pieces so that you can actually sign your artwork. So you're going to sign your name, you're going to put the date, you're going to put the time. Okay, So at least your initials. Um, you don't want to rely on just what's documented in the chart. Mm -hmm. um, if I want to further secure this, then I can put tape around this piece. So I can just unhook here. And then I can tape this anywhere where it's going to be out of his way. Okay, So if I feel like that's going to be better here, if I feel like that's going to be better here. Um, you can see the way this one is curved. It wouldn't be smart to tape it this way because then it's going to get hung on things. So that's really all there is to starting an IV. Well, thanks so much, Kat. Appreciate you sticking me. Always a pleasure. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.